Hi there. PTD Holdings has reported the results for the last quarter. And the stock price went up only 3% in the last 5 days. While the revenue and earnings went up over 100%, as you can see here. The revenue has increased by 141% and their net income has increased by over 246%. But the stock price went up only 3.4%. During that day on May 22nd, the stock price went up just a little, about 3.5%. And then it has declined as all Chinese company went down. Now, why is this? When they reported this amazing growth rate, over 100% in revenue and over 200% in net income or operating income. If you want to look at this indicator, an increase over 275%. Well, the market also looked at the last quarter, the previous quarter, Q4 2023. And if you look at the previous quarter from fiscal year 2023, which was reported on March 20th, 2024, you can see that the revenue was about 88 million renminbi. And now, the revenue is about 86 million renminbi. So compared to the last quarter, it has declined a little. And that's why you see no reaction in the stock price. The market wants to see if PDD Holdings or Pinduoduo Duo can maintain that huge growth rate over 100%. If they can do that, then the stock price will go up even more. So that's why you see no reaction in the stock price while the revenue and earnings went up over 100%. The market doesn't know for sure if they can maintain this huge growth rate. Of course, compared to the last year, they delivered great results. But if you look at the previous quarter from March 20th, 2024, you can see that the revenue has declined. Only their net income has increased from 3.2 billion to 3.8 billion. So that's why you have to be aware of their growth rate, their future growth rate, if they can maintain it. If they can, then this company can double from the current level, from 200 billion to 400 billion, or even more. At the current size, PDD Holdings is a little bit larger than Alibaba, as you can see here, Alibaba Group. Sorry, here. Alibaba has a market cap about 201 billion, and PDD Holdings has a market cap over 204 billion, so a little bit higher. And the multiple for PE ratio is 25 for PDD Holdings and 19 for Alibaba. Of course, the earnings for Alibaba are a little bit disordered. If you want to know why, you can watch my past video about Alibaba. I recently made a new video about this company. You can see here. Baba stock on the rise on 17th May. If you are interested, you can watch it. And also JD.com, another good company that is undervalued at the current level. So if you want to know the competition for e-commerce in China, you can watch those two videos. Now, let's go back to PDD Holdings. You also have to know that besides their huge growth rate, they also have some cash of about 43 billion. And this is good. 43 billion. Of course, compared to the market cap, isn't that high. They haven't announced any dividend or buybacks. And you have to wonder why. Why they are not doing buybacks. Because if you look at the stock price, you can see that PTD Holdings is the only, or maybe there are more, but I don't know. But from Chinese e-commerce companies, PTD Holdings is the only one that rebounded from its bottom. An increase over 300%. While Alibaba, Tencent and JD.com went down a lot. A decline over 72%. So, you have to ask the question why PTD Holdings doesn't do buybacks. 
is they have so much cash on hand, 43 billion. If you look at Alibaba and JD.com, they are doing buybacks and they also pay a small dividend. But PTD Holdings doesn't do any buybacks. And the answer is, as you probably know, this company is overvalued. Of course, if they can maintain this huge growth rate over 100% or maybe 50% or over 20%, same for revenue and their net income, their earnings, then PTD Holdings isn't overvalued. They can grow more in the future. But as I said, nobody knows for sure if they can maintain this huge growth rate. If they can, then you can take advantage and invest in this company. The stock price may more than double from the current level. But if that growth rate slows, goes down, then your return won't be that high. And at the current level, at the current stock price, PDD Holdings is quite overvalued. As I said, you look at the revenue. For the first quarter of 2024, fiscal year 2024, the revenue was about 12 billion or 86 million RMB. But if you look at the previous quarter, Q4 2023, you can see that the revenue was 88 million RMB. So the revenue has decreased a little. Of course, you can compare quarter over quarter or with the previous quarter. You have to look at a longer period. That's why the market hasn't reacted yet for the last five days when they reported their earnings, their huge growth rate. The market hasn't reacted yet. They are waiting to see if PDD Holdings can grow its revenue more in the future and maintain this huge growth rate over 100%. If they can do this to achieve a higher growth rate in the future, then for sure the stock price will double from the current level. But if they don't, you may see another decline in the stock price or the stock price may stay flat for a longer period. That can also happen. That's why you have to be aware of this company if you are planning to invest in PTD Holdings right now. You may win another double, but you can also have a decrease of 50%. Of course, don't expect that this company will go bankrupt because they are backed by Tencent. They have a strong partnership to promote their services on Tencent platforms. And they succeeded to gain a good market share in China. They compete with Alibaba. They are about the same size. If you look at the revenue, total revenue for the first quarter of PDD Holdings, as you can see here, PDD Holdings, the revenue was about $12 billion. $12 billion or 86 million RMB, right? And if you look at Alibaba for their China e-commerce, you can see that their total Taobao and Tmall group, the revenue was about $12.9 billion, a little bit higher, or 93 million RMB. So Alibaba is just a little bit higher. Now, if you compare their net income, or better said, their income from operations, because this is a better indicator to reflect their business, you can see that Alibaba has reported 2 billion in income from operations. $2 billion, while PDD Holdings has reported $3.9 billion, so it's quite huge. And that's why the market likes more PDD Holdings than Alibaba. Of course, those metrics are in the short term. You also have to predict what will happen next. If PDD Holdings can maintain their margins, their huge margins, and grow more in the future, then PDD Holdings may be a better business than Alibaba. That can also happen in the long term, if they can achieve that. But if they don't, their performance may not be that great. Because if you look at the revenue for PDD Holdings, you can see that they have two segments online marketing services and others, and transaction services, which are about the same, 50-50. So you have to ask the question how PDD Holdings makes money. So they offer marketing services, 
advertising plus other features for merchants and also transaction services. Imagine when a merchant sells a product to a customer, a small percentage, a small fee gets to PTD Holdings and this is their revenue. But as this company PTD Holdings competes with Alibaba and JD.com which also have their own online platforms, they are offering the same services. And when there is competition, there are more players in the market, they will start to offer lower prices. And when they do that, more companies compete for the same market, same users. If they reduce their prices, then also the revenue will get lower. And so their growth rate and their earnings, their final earnings. That's why you have to be aware of this huge growth rate. Because as there is high competition, I don't think that PTD Holdings can maintain this huge growth rate over 100%. And this is the highest risk. Because if this growth rate declines to let's say 20% or even less, then also the stock price will do nothing in the next 5 to 10 years. That's why you have to be aware of this risk. Of course, if you believe that this company can maintain this huge growth rate over 100% and 200% in operating income, then at the current level PDD Holdings is quite cheap. You can take advantage and put your money to work for you. But if you pay attention to the risk, as I said, and look at the competition, then the future, I mean the outlook of this company, isn't that great. That's why you have to be aware and compare the upside and the downside. So that's it for this video and if you have other questions about this company or the competition or other businesses then please let me know in the comments.